Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 04 plate. Uh, so a 2004 Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 factory station wagon. Um, finished in Coniston Green with a white roof. Uh, now, I haven't looked at the history yet, but I'm led to believe, and looking at uh, some of the little fittings and numbers on it, um, it's an ex-military one. Um, it seems to have been come out of the military service in 2009. When I say military, it's not a, a fully militarised one that you sort of see in all camouflage and stuff. It's what's called a white fleet vehicle. So in other words, it's a rear echelon um, or covert work, one of the two. Um, basically looks exactly like a civilian one and built on the civilian production lines. Don't believe this nonsense about they've got stronger chassis and stuff like that. They are uh, basically built as civilian vehicles. Um, this one's been modified a bit since it came out of uh, uh, military service with a few sort of off-road bits and bobs in it, but I don't think it's ever been used for serious off-roading. Might have seen a tiny little bit of green laning here and there because we did have the pinch scratches from the rear wheels and stuff, but uh, no more than that. Spec-wise, it's fitted with its um, a matching set of BF Goodrich 265-75 R16 mud terrain tyres. Um, certainly four of them. I think the spare is the one of the original ones because it looks about the spare. It's got a cover on it, but um, it looks uh, doesn't look the same. Quite the same uh, massive tyre as, uh, as, the, as the BFGs. Um, it's got uh, da, 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 da. it's got a front light bar on it and uh, auxiliary lights on the front winch bumper, but I can't seem to make any of them. I don't think they're wired up. In fairness. Um, certainly the ones on the winch bumper don't appear to be wired up, um, but I can't find the switch for them if they do work. So uh, uh, it's also got snorkel on it, um, full length side steps, um, boost alloys, front winch bumper, not including a winch. Uh, it's got front steering guard, well, steering guard, you can't have a rear steering guard, I suppose. Um, it's in six seater spec, and it is, as I say, it's a genuine station wagon. Um, chassis number confirms that, and it's in six seater spec, two seats in the front with the, the cubby tray in the front, and uh, two individual, so um, two, in, two bench seats in the back with inertia reel seat belts in the back. It's got a radio CD in it as well. Um, around the tail end, we have uh, adjustable tow pack with uh, rear step on it. One thing that gives it away its military is the military electric, uh, military electric plug. Well, that has got a civilian one underneath it, so um, you have at least got uh, civilian electrics so if you want to tow a trailer. Um, right, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Very, very few bad bits. It's actually quite a low mileage one. This has done about 83,000 miles, I think, from memory. Um, Coniston green paint all looks to be nice and original. Don't think it's ever had any repainting work at all. It's just started to rain, so we've got a few. I'm gonna have to see through the rain now. Um, but I can't recall any major blemishes anywhere. There's a tiny, tiny chip just there, and a, that section there is very slightly misshapen, just on the front panel there. Um, bonnet all looks nice. A couple of scratches on the bonnet. There's one there, one towards the back. Um, looking down the near side, she looks pretty straight and, uh, and dent-free. Certainly it's all good around here. This is all nice in the usual area where they get get dinked. Um, that's all good. Scuttle corner here is all very good apart from a tiny bit of bubbling just coming up here just um, behind the hinge just there. Um, but that's really about it. A post is all good. Modesty covers lost a bit of its paint up here from uh, boots getting in and out and stuff I guess. Um, near side door is all nice. And uh, obviously, it's um, it's all good in here. The headlining is all very nice. A couple of minor marks on the headlining, slightly grubby towards the, the middle section, but that's about it. Uh, no sunroof fitted to this one because it's a station wagon rather than a county station wagon. Um, Exmoor trim seat bases on both sides. That one's in good shape. That one's got a couple of nicks in it over the. <coughs> we'll come back to that. Um, it's all matted out in here, footwells all look nice, the dash is all good, um, doors, doors very good indeed, just starting to get a little bit crusty there, but uh, no movement in the hinges at all, all shuts nice, there's a bit of a chip in the back of the door just there, near side rear wing is all spot on. Very little electrolytic, well, very little electrolytic reaction on this one. It's very tidy actually from that point of view. All good round there. 
pretty good around the tail end. A few scratches here, just above the lock. But as I say, it's quite free of reaction. A bit of paint loss just down here. I think something, is that a badge or something there? Or something military probably. In the back here, she's all nice. The rear door card's got a few marks on it. Um, the seats are nice. As I say, you've got um, twin, uh, twin inertia wheel belts for each side. All the plastic station wagon trim is all as it should be, all around the windows and everything. It's all good. There are my trade plates in there for this. Um, tailgate is the later one-piece style, so that's all spot on. You don't get to, these later one-piece ones don't rust in the same way. Um, a couple of marks just here which may come out with a bit of polish. Scratch just there. Looking down the offside, again looks really quite straight and tidy and Correct. Um, slight depression just there on the edge of the fuel filler. Almost done that. Um, but around there, it's all good. That's just polish marks there. Uh, rain's got to it. A couple of scratches on the driver's door here, here, and here. Minor scratches. And a, what's this here? Didn't see that before. Some sort of rubber. I'm sure we can get this off. Possibly, I think it's had a bit of paint work just there actually on the A post. Tiny bit of paint just there. Um, I'm sure it'll come off, whatever it is. It looks like silicon sealant actually from where the uh, where the snorkel's been sealed. Yeah, I forgot to mention it's got a snorkel. Uh, yeah, that's silicon sealant. So it's been smeared on the paint, but it will come off. Got some patch on there, get rid of it. Yeah, that's all coming off now actually. There we go. Nearly all gone. Um, a post on this side all looks good. Sorry, uh, scuttle corner all looks good. No problems there. Offside front wing, all good. Snorkel's good. I think the snorkel is actually connected. Um, that's about it, I think. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously the cost. That's about it. End.